This is Terry from Fabric Junction and today I'm going to show you how to prep your bag, your Crown Royal bags that you've collected, to make a quilt. This is something I've been doing for many years and after several years people have asked me for the patterns and how I work with the bag. The bags themselves I have collected or they've been given to me to work with. And it's similar to working with flannel. But as you can see, the first thing I do is I cut off the top. Actually, I need to let you know that I did launder all my bags because that'll take out any excess dyes, any smoke or unusual odors that may be in the bag. So after I have laundered them, I start to cut them. And I cut off the top and I do like to keep the strings because once in a while I make my own tassels and they are great to save. This is the only part that I actually throw away is that particular part. When I first started working with the bags I discovered that this particular stitching no matter how pretty it is it will melt. Not necessarily absolutely every bag but most of the bags I've ever worked with this stitching melts. So my next step is of course to remove the stitching. Now I like to use all parts of the bags when I design a quilt for somebody. So everything else I save and I press and then I cut to size depending on what I'm going to do that part will be thrown away. I have the back, that's a nice piece of fabric. Then I don't have to run out and match my purples as much. But you will notice if you have a lot of bags they're not exactly the same shade of purple. And that's okay too. That's what keeps your quilt unique is the fact that purples do change. If you need to add a purple, I found that from Robert Kaufman, the Kona purple works the best. It gives me the best um, color to the bag. Anyway, we have our bag cut. Now that I go to the iron and I press my pieces. and I will have all my pieces now prepped and ready to cut. You don't have to worry about the lettering that actually says Crown Royal. That is done with a different thread so it doesn't melt away on you. Now that I have them pressed, I'm ready to put them in a quilt. And I will use the backs. I like to use this a lot of times for little squares or borders. Now we have some patterns written up for you that are available at Fabric Junction. If you would like to look at a couple of the quilts that we did, this one is our, your favorite bag pattern that we used uh, 18 bags and I used those blank spots for the points, but you could also use um, a solid, and then the borders. We also have one laid out this way. This one is called I'll Drink to That. Also, these are the bags, this is the bags, and this is the piece that I trimmed that was that section in the middle. So we'd like you to check us out at junctionfabric.com. You can go to the link that is on this site to go directly to the patterns. Have fun making your, your quilts using the wonderful purple bags. Thank you.